those Wildcats is exactly what the fans here in Lebanon, or at least the Lebanon fans, are hoping the Blue Devils will do tonight as the Tullahoma Wildcats come calling in the first round of the TSS AA playoffs. Hello, everybody. My name is Andy Reid, and thank you for joining us this morning for this TV 66 sports coverage of Lebanon High School football 1987. Well, playoff fever is in the air here in Lebanon as the Blue Devils are in the playoff for only the second time in school history and the first time since 1982. The Tullahoma Wildcats represent District 8 AAA. They are the district runners-up. Coming in with a 9-1 record, their only loss in a 36-15 defeat to Shelbyville in week number three. And the Wildcats perhaps one of the best second-place teams in the state at this point. Tullahoma's featured featuring the running of tailback Maurice Shaw, who has scored 19 rushing touchdowns and has scored 126 points this season. Also, another weapon to look out for is wide receiver Antonio London, who has caught nine touchdown passes from quarterback Matthews. Matthews, a rarity in this area. He's a left-handed quarterback. The Blue Devils, meanwhile, led by the passing of Tony Eckler and the running of Patrick Speed. The Blue Devils for the most part healthy for this game with the exception of left guard Jason Thompson who missed last week's football game with a shoulder injury and will also be out of tonight's game. Nose guard Freddie Pennington who injured his ankle against Shelbyville two weeks ago will play tonight. His starting status will be determined during pre-game warm-up as the Blue Devils take the field before a packed house at Lebanon High School. With that, we'll take the this commercial break and we'll be right back for the opening kickoff. Medical Center has provided acute medical care to Lebanon and the surrounding area since 1979. UMC offers the latest in diagnostic facilities, four surgical suites with up-to-date equipment, a modern obstetrical department featuring Lamar's prepared childbirth and sibling visitation. 24-hour physician staff emergency department. Programs for the treatment of psychiatric disorders and substance abuse. University Medical Center, taking care of the community's health care needs. 1411 Bedour Parkway, Lebanon, a National Medical Enterprises health care facility. Now enjoy the ultimate in convenience and versatility with Liberty State Bank's automated teller card. You can use your Liberty State Bank card anywhere in the money belt system or the plus system. And you can use your Visa, MasterCard, or your Discover card in Liberty State Bank's automated teller machine. It's the modern, up-to-date way to bank for people on the move. Just come into Liberty State Bank, open your checking account, and get your automated teller card. Liberty State Bank, 1035 West Main Street, your home-owned community bank. Member FDIC. If a new home is in your future, call Fight Realty Company in Lebanon. Fight Realty knows their business and they know the area. They've served Lebanon and Wilson County for over 41 years. For residential, commercial, industrial, or farm real estate needs, call Fight Realty Company in Lebanon at 444-0723. Their national number is 256-8358. You'll go right when you go with Fight. Fight Realty Company in Lebanon, 109 South Cumberland. For quality name brand aluminum and vinyl siding, trim work for brick homes, replacement windows, and carport and patio covers, call Volunteer Aluminum Company. The owner, George Johnson, has been a Lebanon resident for 22 years, and he stands ready to serve you in all your aluminum and vinyl home improvement needs. Volunteer Aluminum Company in Gallatin, in business 11 years. Phone 449-3023. Here at Lebanon High School, the crowd is up on its feet as Mike Kaywood sets the ball on the tee at the 40, preparing to kick off to the Blue Devils, back seat for Lebanon. Patrick C., number 40, and Rick Johnson, number 18, standing back at about their own seven or eight yard line. And we're just a few moments away from getting this one kicked off. Lebanon in the playoffs for the first time since 1982. That year, the Blue Devils were beaten in the first round by Lincoln County as the Falcons were en route to the state championship. The kick is off. Squibber fielded at the 20. This is Jerry Young with the football. And is down at the 25-yard line. Well, the Blue Devils will take over. First down and 10 to go. Checking out the 11 and offense. Quarterback Tony Eckler will lead the offense. He's number 10. Backed up in the I formation by fullback Jeff Crutchfield and tailback Patrick C. His favorite receiver is split in Raymond Shockley, number 7. And in the slot back will be number 32, Marcus Watkins. The tight end is Wayne Rollins. 
and the center is Tim Halbert. We'll get the rest of the interior line in just a moment. First down and 10 for the Blue Devils from the 25-yard line. Eckler goes straight ahead on first down. Gets Antonio London, the linebacker, makes the stop a pickup of about two or three on the play. cornerback taking a look at Tullahoma defensively interior line from left to right reads David Hale number 55 number 78 is Jeff Hewitt the 30 number 34 is Jeff Mathis the nose guard Jamie Smith is at right tackle number 53 and Robert Weaver number 69 is the defensive end as the Wildcats play a 5-2 set third down and four for the Blue Devils at the 30 or at the 31 or rather pitch back goes to see he tries the left side and it's stop there at the 32 making the stop number 53 Jamie Smith the right tackle the linebackers for Tullahoma are 89 Antonio London and number 21 Tom Daniel the defensive backs at safeties are Bill Marshall and Jeff Tyler and the cornerbacks number 86 Jeff Hollis and number five Greg Hollis so on fourth down and three Damon Dotson is in the kick Back deep for Tullahoma is number 44, Maurice Shaw. Good snap. Kick is away. Shaw fields it at the 35. Brings it straight up the field and is brought down by Paul Sloan. Number 57. Maurice Shaw may very well be a thorn in the side of the Blue Devils tonight as he will line up at running back for Tullahoma. The quarterback is number one, Steve Matthews. He throws left-handed. The wide receiver is number two, Derek Crutchfield, and number 89, Antonio London, with Tom Potter, number 88, to tight end. The fullback is number 22, Brent Hale. First down at the 42 of Tullahoma. Matthews pitches back. This is Shaw. He tries the right side. He gets across the 45 down to about the 48-yard line. Stop on the play, number 30, linebacker Jeff Crutchfield. The interior line for the Wildcats, number 55 is David Hale. He is the center. The tackles are number 62, Bill Perkins, and number 78, Jeff Hewitt. And the guards are number 69, Robert Weaver, and number 77, John Ayers. Second down and five for the Wildcats at the 47. This game just underway if you're just joining us. Pitch back goes to Shaw. He tries the left side. Right, some tackles and is stacked up just past midfield. Leading the charge, Crutchfield number 30 and number 74, Earl Coggins. Taking a look at the Lebanon defense. Coggins number 74 at one defensive tackle with Larry McCrary at the other. Damon Dotson and Adrian Lee are the defensive ends. Freddie Pennington's status as a starter was based on his on what happened in warm-ups, but I see number 72, Markham, is out there at the nose right now to start the game. The linebackers, number 43, Jim Adams, and number 30, Jeff Crutchfield. The defensive backs, Rick Johnson and Raymond Shockley are the safeties, and Marcus Watkins and Mark Owens are the corners. Third down and one for the Wildcats. Shaw gets the call. He's got the first down at about the 46. Stop made by Roy Markham for the Blue Devils. And it's first down and 10 for Tullahoma at the 46. First and 10. This is the fullback with the carry, number 22, Brent Hale. And he is stacked up by the middle of the Blue Devil defensive line, led by number 76, Larry McCrary. Pick up of about two on the play. Jeff Crutchfield also in on the stop for Lebanon. Pick up of about one, second down and nine for the Wildcats. Second down, pitch back goes to Shaw, left side, first through the line, but it's tripped up. He stumbles out to about the 40, and Marcus Watkins in on the stop for the Blue Devils. Ball just short of the 40-yard line, bring up a third down and four for Tullahoma. On third and four, Shaw gets the call. Lose one tackler, cuts back in, and out of bounds 
That is very close to the first down. Shaw broke numerous tackles. Shaw will be very difficult to bring down. Not only is he is their not only is he their leading rusher, he's also their biggest player at 234 pounds. We're bring the chains out to determine the measurement, and it is just short by inches. So, Tullahoma coach Joe Geddes with an interesting decision here whether to go for it on fourth and inches. Coming into the game for Tullahoma is number two, Derek Crutchfield, the wide receiver. Tullahoma's punter is number 25, Chris Long. He's also listed as a tailback, so. It looks like they're going to go for it on fourth and inches at the 41, or excuse me, at the 36. Lebanon crowd on its feet, exhorting the defense. As the Wildcats look to go for it on fourth and one. Matthews, the quarterback, is a junior. He keeps, and it looks like he made it. As they're marking it at the 40. Stop made by number 72, Roy Markham. And it's a first down for Tullahoma. On the first down play from the 35. Matthews play action is hit, fumble. Rollins hit him, the fumble. Re Lebanon, will re if Lebanon recovered. Markham tried to pick it up and ran with it, but he couldn't pick it up. And coming from behind the fall on the football, See who gets up at number number 76. Larry McCrary finally makes the play. Rollins made the hit on Matthews, forcing the fumble. Roy Markham tried to pick it up and run it all the way into the end zone. And finally, it was McCrary who picked it up, and the Blue Devils have the first break of the game. First down at the Tullahoma 37. First down from the 37. Eckler gives to see. He tries the left side. He's got some room down close to the 30. Stop made by number 89, Antonio London. They'll mark it at the 31. That will bring up a second down and about four. Second down play at the 31. Give us to the fullback. Crutchfield goes up the middle and is leveled by the linebacker, Antonio London after a pickup of maybe one yard on the play. It'll bring up third down and about three. On third and three from the 30, Eckler gives the C. He's got the first down at the 25. London led the charge for the Wildcats to stop defensively, but it's a first down for the Blue Devils. Their first of the night. First down at the 26. Eckler gives the C. Not much. Number 21, Tom Daniel. Looks like he might have gotten a hand on C's ankle to trip him up behind the line of scrimmage. And there's no gain on the play. Sec bring up a second down in 10 as the clock ticks down to 350 remaining in the first quarter. No score from Lebanon High School. Second down and 10. Raymond Shockley split out wide to the left. Eckler looking as first pass attempt going deep over the middle for Shockley. Intercepted at the three. The interception made. A flag is on the play. The interception was made by Bill Marshall. He brings it back to about the 25-yard line. Eckler was looking for Shockley. He was double covered, and Marshall was right there. But on the run back, flags are flying, and this will probably be clipping against the Wildcats to back them up. Oh, a call is clipping against Tullahoma. That will back them up, but Joe Gaddis is probably happy enough that his team has the ball back at this point. 